What's up, Luchi gang? Welcome back to the channel. I'm trying not to be loud because we're inside of Gap. And I just wanted to start the vlog off. Kids, the boys need socks, and um, they have a couple of sales going on. So, don't mind if we do. Make sure you say true, hit the like button, don't be here, like, subscribe right now. Here, she's the these marble superheroes. Well, you need underwear, you've been wearing blippy underwear, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me stop. Okay, so obviously Houston doesn't want those, but let's get him some socks. Baby Yoda house shoes? That's funny. You like those? I like them. Aww. Starbucks vibes. What did you get, Houston? What else did you get? A cookie crumble? You got what? Chocolate. You got chocolate milk? We are at Starbucks. We didn't get anything. We just got Houston something because he's been bugging. He wanted Starbucks. Kelly? What do you say? Houston, what do you say? Boy! Look, look what they just built down the street from the crib, Maestro's. This is like me and Kelly's favorite, Kelly and I's, one of Kelly and I's favorite restaurants, but it's way over there by the Galleria in the Southwest H-Town, and we don't like driving all the way over there. And it's pretty far, but now, they got one right down the street, man. Say, look at God, look at God. He said, I got something in store for y'all in 2022. So now when we have date night, come find us over there at Maestro's, baby. Hey, my birthday's coming up. Come on, somebody. We are heading back home. We just came to do a little quick run, you know, here and there. We had to go buy some things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. A TV. Tell them why, tell them why. Because he has his, we put his, a bed in my, so I was using my studio room as like an office room but kelly cleared it out over the weekend and we not put, over the weekend yesterday, yesterday. <laughs> cleared it out and we put a bed in there for houston and baby row and we bought them a tv so now they can chill in there and don't have to be in our bed because they were getting yeah you slept in there last night like a big boy you slept in there houston what that's why you got blessed with Starbucks. And a TV. Because you were a big boy last night. Roro slept in there also, but then in the middle of the night, he came in the Crawling room. Crawling into my bed, put his finger in my nose, tell my dad. <laughs> dad. That's funny, you said? Yeah. So, yeah, we just came to run and get a TV and stuff. We are trying to get him. We're in a season of transitioning. I claim this for y'all also. Whatever it is that you need to transition into and out of, we are claiming it right now. We are transitioning. We Yesterday, we worked um, on our house. We cleared out the air vent. We um, helped the girls set up some stuff in their room just to keep it more organized. I organized the boys' new room. And that way, Lucky and I don't have to sleep with boys, babies in our bed because it has been a rough journey since yes. we've had Houston and then back door with Roro. It's just been very uncomfortable. It's kind of been 
hard for us to communicate even just in our own room like just to be able to talk to each other just like it's always somebody button in or blippy playing on our tv or just like lot of nikki just a lot going on so now we are trying our best so we're gonna get ready and tell kingston to babysit the kids and we're going to maestro's tonight baby. it's not open yeah, it is i just googled it <laughs> He said I just Googled it. Opened it opened December 26th. Really? Yeah. It did? Yeah, yesterday. Ah! Yeah, Don't. at 5 p.m. Don't play with me. Hey, little boy. He spilled all that chocolate milk all over him. He said, hold it. You spilled it. You always making a mess, little boy. <laughs> Look at how he looks, though. You make a mess. Daddy gonna give you pop pop. Why do you look like that, Roro? You spilled it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the next day. We at JM Barbecue, about to have some lunch. You hear me? We are somewhere downtown, right? Yeah, downtown. We're downtown. I didn't even pay attention the whole way over here, but we are about to go inside of this barbecue place. Um, and I'm excited because we haven't had good barbecue in a while. So let's do it. Real quick, let me just show y'all the vibes right here. JM. Dale. Outside. Yep. What you got? Oh my god, it smells so Oh my god. Tell me what you got. I got some four experiments right here. If you're ever in Houston, you want to eat some good barbecue, come downtown, JM Barbecue, the best barbecue in Houston. It's fresh, it's, everything's fresh. Did y'all see how they just unwrap that? Look you guys, this is just delicious. Look at this mac and cheese, look at these green beans, look at, that. Look at those beer. french fries, look at that baked potato. They said when we're done with he would take us to the back show us the pit room. Y'all want to come with us? Okay, so don't mind if I do. I'm about to get a little dirty. That's the way to do it here in Texas. Sure. Gotta good, sure. eat some good old barbecue, you guys. Sure you don't want a barbecue. Sheesh. Yummy. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Yummy. We're getting banana pudding. Classic Central Texas flavor. Uh, that's where most of the flavor you taste in the barbecue comes from. Good. Hey, Kister. It's the pit room right here. So y'all got briskets in there. We got, yeah, we got briskets going in this one. But I'll come show you what we got going in this one right now. We got some briskets and some pork butt on right now. And uh, these are our offset smokers. So we built a fire in that firebox. Come see the fire right here. 
get it nice and hot and smoky. And how long do y'all cook them briskets? Uh, briskets are about 16, 18 hour cook. Wow, and that fire stays lit for that long? Yeah. Ooh. And so it pulls out, you see them smoke stacks, they get extended to the roof. Mm -hmm. So it pulls kind of like a convection of it. It pulls the heat and the smoke oh, okay. and it just drifts. There's like a fan blowing up there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a fluke, so it all, it all escapes out. And uh, yeah, we, we cook them for about 16, 18 hours, and then they rest overnight for about 12. Yeah. So it's like a 28, 30 hour process. Man, so that brisket you ate took 30 hours to get that taste you got. Yeah, bro, I appreciate it. Man. When I say I am stuffed and satisfied, I mean it. Thank you, Jesus. Man, I'm gonna go sleep. I've I've already been sleepy. Like before we left the house, I was already kind of like dozing weather. off. It's the weather. We got and then he said we're gonna go eat. So now it's just like the cherry on top. I can go home and just chill, kick back. We've been doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of like we've been putting in work. Okay, so I feel like today is just the day to just kick back and relax and just enjoy the day. Um, fun fact: today, me and Luck. Or luck and me. What? How do you say it? Luck and I. Luck and I. Lucky and I make five years of meeting and knowing each, each other, other, being together, like almost every single day after. Every single day for the last five years. <laughs> yeah. So. We did that, baby. It's our five-year anniversary. Whoop whoop. Thank the Lord for this relationship, our children, and just everything that we've been blessed with. So yeah, this is our little celebration. It's coming to eat this barbecue and just chilling and enjoying and what is it? Enjoying our harvest, reaping what we sow. To the Lord for a long time Meditating on his word every single hour He don't move for any man, he's on his own time He can do it, I think he's the most high